Hello there, welcome to this tutorial on personality profiling. Look, this is really just the finishing touches to the recording I did last time where I basically forgot to add something onto the end of it. So it's all about personality conclusions. And the question I want to quickly answer that I should have done within that recording is can we actually profile personality and particularly can we profile a successful personality in sport and look I want to first of all be a kind of a little bit skeptical about this and I'll come back to that word in a moment and just to just to sort of say that look we we looked at all of those measurement methods in the last recording but we have to say measurements are always limited measurements are always limited because of the nature of what we are trying to measure okay so that in itself really puts um, a hole in this idea of profiling a successful sporting personality I'm not saying we shouldn't try I'm just saying we have to accept that there's limitations the other point I would make and there's two more points really that I want to make is that there are so many exceptions there are so many exceptions that we really have to think, right, OK, this idea of a successful sporting personality, whether you know you look at Isaac's model, whether you look at the uh, concepts we're going to look at in the next couple of the models on achievement, motivation and the, and the TAP and the TAS, whatever you look at, there are always going to be exceptions to those rules. So we have to acknowledge and address that fact. And my final sort of point about the, the real the role of personality profiling is that and I think this kind of summarizes the whole topic is this do we agree do we agree on what personality is on what personality is and if the answer to that is 